the Congo horror king leopard the second is reign of terror the Congo horror stands as one of the darkest chapters in the annals of colonial history a harrowing tale of exploitation violence and suffering inflicted upon the people of the Congo basin under the rule of king leopard the second of belgium Born out of Europe's insatiable appetite for wealth and power in the late 19th century, Leopard's brutal reign of terror in the Congo would leave an indelible mark on the region and its people, shaping the course of African history for generations to come. Leopard's obsession with acquiring colonies and expanding Belgium's influence on the world stage led him to set sights on the vast and resource-rich territories of Central Africa. In 1879, he established the International African Association, ostensibly a philanthropic organization aimed at promoting scientific research and humanitarian endeavors in Africa. However, Leopard's true intentions soon became clear. He sought to crave a personal empire in Africa one that would enrich him and his country at the expense of the indigenous people of the Congo. Under the guise of philanthropy and civilization, Leopard embarked on a campaign of ruthless exploitation and brutality in the Congo basin, employing a combination of coercion, violence, and deception to achieve his goals. One of his most notorious sins was the so-called Congo Free State, a private fiefdom established in 1885 under his personal control, operating under the pretense of benevolent enterprise aimed at uplifting the African population. Leopard's agents carried out a reign of terror that would come to be known as the Congo Horror. The horrors inflicted upon the people of the Congo under Leopard's rule were staggering in the scale and brutality. Forced labor, widespread violence, and systematic exploitation were the hallmark of his regime. As millions of Congolese were subjected to unimaginable suffering in the pursuit of profit and power, rubber extraction, in particular, became a key driver of the Congo's economy. As Leopard's agent ruthlessly exploited the region's vast rubber resources for export to Europe, the methods employed by Leopard's agent to extract rubber from the Congo were nothing short of barbaric. Forced labor was the norm. As Congolese men, women, and children were conscripted into service to work in the rubber plantations under the most dwelling and inhuman conditions, those who failed to meet their quotas or resisted the demands of their overseers were subjected to brutal punishments, including mutilation, torture, and execution. Entire villages were raised to the ground and atrocities such as mass killing, rape, and enslavement became commonplace. The true extent of the horror unleashed upon the people of the Congo during Leopard's reign is difficult to comprehend. Estimates of the death toll vary, but some historians believe that as many as 10 million Congolese lost their lives as the direct result of Leopard's policies, either through violence, starvation, or disease. Entire communities were decimated, cultures destroyed, and generations traumatized by the savagery of colonial rule. The Congo horror eventually came to light thanks to the efforts of brave individuals who risked their lives to expose the atrocities being committed in the heart of Africa. Missionaries, journalists, and human rights activists such as George Washington William, E.D. Morrill, and Roger Casement played a crucial role in documenting and publicizing the crime of Royal Party's regime, shifting a spotlight on the plight of the Congolese people and galvanizing international outrage. In 1908, under the mounting pressure from the international community 
and facing increasing scrutiny at home, Leopard was forced to relinquish control of the Congo Free State to the Belgian government, which subsequently annexed the territory as the Belgian Congo. While the transfer of power brought an end to Leopard's personal rule, the legacy of the Congo horror would continue to haunt the region for decades to come. The Congo horror serves as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of colonialism and imperialism on the African continent. It is a testament to the unchecked greed and the cruelty of those who wielded power in the name of empire. And sobering reminder to the enduring regress of exploitation and injustice that continues to shape the lives of millions of people in Africa today. In conclusion, King Leopold II's reign of terror in the Congo stands as a dark and shameful chapter in human history. The Congo horror represents the epitome of colonial exploitation and brutality, a stark reminder of the devastating impact of imperialism on the lives of countless individuals. As we reflect on this tragic episode, we must confront the legacy of colonialism and work towards building a future that honors the dignity and humanity of all people, regardless of race or nationality. What are your thoughts on the Congo horror and King Leopard's reign of terror? Feel free to share your opinions down in the comment section. Thank you for watching or see the bone child and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more insightful content on history and beyond. I'll be seeing you in another one. But for now, let's meet in the comment section.